What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on the brand new 8-man M4 portable DLP mini projector. Now this projector has DLP technology which is supposed to provide a nice and bright high contrast projection and up to 100 inches. So here is a home cinema option for you guys, the 8-man M4. So this is everything you get in the box, beginning with the user manual, a USB power brick, which is DC 5 watt output. We also get an HDMI cable, but with that, you get a mini adapter. We've got a micro USB charging cable. So this also comes with a foldable tripod. So a very compact portable tripod with a ball head. So last but not least, so here it is people, wow. So I will put the specs on the screen so you can have a quick read. So this is an LED video projector, energy efficiency is 10 watts, lamp life is 25,000 hours, brightness is 100 ANSI lumens, native resolution is 854 by 480, you've got auto keystone correction, HDMI input, contrast ratio is 1000 to 1, and the screen size is a maximum of 100 inches. Now you do have dual stereo speakers and a built-in 3400 milliamp battery which will give you around two hours of video playback. So I'm loving the finish on the top. You've got a black plastic reflective finish um, with the 8-man and the DLP logos at the top. And the silver part going all the way around is actually made from metal, which is definitely a nice touch. And the bottom of the projector is made from plastic. So at the front of the projector we have a headphone jack or you can plug in a pair of external speakers. You've got a USB port, an HDMI in, so you can connect your PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch or any other HDMI device you wish. You've also got a micro USB charging port. So it's nice to see that this little device is powered by micro USB which means a power bank should work fine with this. So we will test that later. So on the side you have a power button and a plus and minus button which could be for volume. Um, you've got a single speaker on this side. If we keep going, you've got some ventilation and the actual lens. And on the other side, you've got your focus adjustment and another speaker. So this projector does have dual stereo speakers. This is what the bottom of the projector looks like. You do have a tripod screw, so you can hook this up to the included tripod. But you do have a universal tripod connection, so you can connect this to any tripod. But it's nice that they included a mini one to get you going. Now this projector is very compact in size, so just to give you guys an idea of how small this is, I'm going to bring in an Android TV box. So this is the TX92, and you can see that this projector is in fact smaller than the TX92, and also slimmer. So that's just to give you an idea of the size of this product. Now this projector does look a lot like an Android TV box, but you do not actually have Android on this system. So I will try and briefly turn this on to give you a quick look. So this is an LED projector, and as you can see, the brightness is actually pretty good. Um, you can project this onto any surface, like a table or a wall, and this is what you can expect. Now it does say no signal because we haven't plugged anything in. We either need to attach a USB source or an HDMI source. So we are now going to measure the fan noise to see how loud it is. So here we go. So. I'm going to get this hooked up and we are going to give this a full test. I'll be right back. So we are 1.5 meters away from that wall and we are projecting a 50 inch screen. I got my Amazon Fire TV stick plugged into the HDMI port. So let's go ahead and play a few trailers and test out what this projector can do. I will quickly turn the light on to show you how this looks in lighting. Is there anything that terrifies you? I didn't hate spiders, that's for sure. Yeah? Give me a clip. Life can be dangerous when you're a dark tourist. And thousands of elephants have started to travel in a desperate search for water. Beach is closed, no swimming. I order the Amity PD. Let's poly to the printing. What's the matter with life? So that's 
So there you have it guys, that was the new 8-man M4 portable LED projector. So the pros and cons pretty much sum it up. It's a great performing portable projector, silent fan noise and pretty decent volume and speaker clarity. And here is my top performing LED projector chart of 2018 showing you what's the latest and greatest and allowing you to compare them with each other. Now based on the overall experience and performance of this projector, I have ranked it at position 16 on this chart. I feel that this projector is slightly overpriced for what you're getting. For the $200 mark you can get a projector with the same specs and performance including DLP but also with a full Android system and remote control. Now there is no doubt that the 8-man M4 is a well-made system, it feels and looks very premium and the system is designed to not require a remote control as you can attach your HDMI game console or TV box and it will automatically detect the source and display it in its full glory. Now I also tested USB movie playback and when I attached my drive it was not detected. Also there are no menu options to fine tune the colour, contrast and temperature so some games and movies looked slightly more colourful than others. So bottom line, based on what this portable projector offers, I would expect this to be at least 40% cheaper than its current price. And if 8man do decide on upgrading this model, then I would love to see Oreo and a remote control including menu options and without breaking the $200 barrier. Now that would be awesome. With that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have. A brilliant day. See you in the next one, guys.